Maverick Fish Hunter. We're here in sunny Florida Keys fishing Big Cobia, King Max, Swordfish, and Shark. We'll show you wild nature and wild water at its best and most dangerous. Come along with us as we take you on a half hour salty adventure. Maverick Fish Hunter, season one, episode two. We're in Florida Keys. I'll be your host, Troy Isaac. We're going to be on big water, salt water, out in the middle of the ocean, fishing huge fish. Thanks to our show sponsors that allow these episodes to be shot. All tried and true products. Well, here we are in the north. It's so cold, there's mist coming off the water in the middle of the winter. In the middle of a snowstorm, PWCs covered in a blanket of snow. We're going to be heading from Sault Ste. Marie to Florida Keys, Florida. Here's what we're leaving. You can have it south by southwest all the way coming up to the Mackinac bridge one of the largest bridges in our area to the left off to Lake Huron to the right off to Lake Michigan Mackinac bridge is a suspension bridge spanning the Strait of Mackinac to connect the upper and lower peninsulas of the U.S. state of Michigan. When you're heading north on the I-75 and you run out of road, that's where I'm from. Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville is centered on the banks of the St. Johns River and the first coast region of North East Florida, about 25 miles south of the Georgia state line and 340 miles north of Miami. State of Florida, including Jacksonville, is a huge flat plateau with a high water table and surface lakes are very shallow. The United States Geological Survey states that the highest point in Jacksonville is only 40 feet above sea level. We're out on the fishing grounds this is our first stop. First day on the water, we're into a giant cobia. What an introduction to fishing in Florida, in the Atlantic Ocean. We're talking a four foot prized cobia. To be honest, it was a little overwhelming getting into a fish this size right away. One of my favorite tricks is when I land into a new area is go to a local dive shop or go online and look up the wrecks in the area or the reefs in the area. There is a line of razor sharp, you'd almost call them teeth, going down its back behind its dorsal fin. You catch your hand on that, it'll ruin a perfectly good fishing day. Quality equipment, quality fish. And off we go to our next location, Amberjack. I'll go down south again just to fish these guys. What a fight. Sea turtle, doesn't look like he knows we're creeping up. Oh, there he sees us and gone and that was that however we were at the florida aquarium in tampa bay we got to dive with the sharks and there just happened to be a turtle there so i thought i'd give you a little preview on what was coming up on our next florida show Now 
Now here's a perfect example. I threw this in because I have no idea what this fish is. I can't identify them on a chart. And in Florida, as with most states, there are size limits, bag limits, times to fish. I had no way of identifying this fish and he was small. So that's a perfect example of throw it back. Would have been great in the pan, not worth the risk. Well, we've got a good tugger here. Oh, beautiful red fish, red snapper. This guy put up a nice fight. Lots of fun. Got into a school of these non-stop action for a good 45 minutes. Beautiful residents on the shoreline in Florida. These wharfs are all over the place and they hold great fish. Well, this looks like a silver snapper, but again, couldn't tell, threw him back. Approximately how long are the Florida Keys in miles? We're back on the St. Mary's River. Checking out some drone action, some high speed passes. The two machines that I am using right now are both 10 year old machines, 2007 GTX 155 and an FX HO. One thing I would like to experience in a newer machine is cruise control. That would help a lot with what I call jig trolling. With the rods mounted on the handlebars and the Maverick handlebar bracket, you have this jigging motion as you're trolling. If I could control the speed, it would even be that much better for well, this is an example of how not to do a corner. <laughs> and uh, something else, the strap, this is why I don't like those wrist straps. I didn't have mine on. Complete violation. However, I had to remember to put on and off. Here the machine's still running, doing donuts. And here's showing you how easy it is to get back on with the Maverick bags and brackets installed. It's really what you want. You want to be able, and this is flat water. I, I don't know how with a cage and a cooler on the back, I'd ever get out of the water. Well, that's how you do a proper corner. That was the first time, believe it or not, on camera that I've ever been thrown off a jet ski in seven, eight, nine years of riding. If you guessed 223 miles, you would be right. Sunshine Keys, the heart of the Florida Keys. Beautiful marina, sheltered marina of all the amenities you'd ever want. Beautiful fish cleaning station, complete with running water, covered, screened from the bugs. It has power, lights, just the, one of the nicest cleaning stations ever. Nice, good ramp, very solid facility. That's 
the Sea Dew GTX 155 that we'll be using for the day. I'm out running solo. You'll notice that there's no rods anywhere. Where does he keep his rods? What does he fish with? Well, I have them stashed away in the Maverick saddle bag, catch bag. There's all my rods and reels, camera posts, you name it. This is what we're looking for. That's where the fish are. This is what we're not looking for. And we're into a shark. I can almost tell, even though I've never seen one before, I can immediately identify this shark because of its tail. It's a thresher shark. If I'm not right, you can email me. Just go to maverickfishhunter.com and send me an email. Got him on some cut bait using steel leader. Wanted to show you an example of a, what they call a grunt. This is, from what I understand, a silver snapper. It grows to a length of about 30 centimeters, 12 inches, and is a silvery cream color with narrow yellow or blue octagonal stripes. How many islands make up the Florida Keys? Mile Bridge, very famous, been in many movies. We're in Key West. This is Main Street, Key West. Key West is an island in Florida and the county seat of Monroe County. The city boundaries include the Isle of Key West and several nearby islands. This is my first indication of what I've walked into. We're here at the Powerboat Races in November. Getting out to the observation deck. Very nice production. And we're off. Key West Superboat.com. Loud, fast, lots of money. Definitely worth taking one in off the bucket list. I'm going to turn the music down and stop talking. You can turn it up and just listen to those motors howl. SBI boasts the best race team, Freeze Bikini Girls, 
biggest party on Duval Street and by far the most exhilarating moments of cowboy racing. During the 2017 SBI World Championships, teams excited the crowds with some of the best racing ever seen in Key West. With several league changes throughout each day of racing, teams competing in Sunday's race put everything on the line in the hopes of bringing home a Super Bowl World Championship title. The weekend was not without mishaps as two Super Bowl Unlimiteds collided in spectacular fashion along the numerous spin-outs and collisions of boats. Next week on Maverick Fish Hunter, we'll be back on the St. Mary's River fishing salmon and trout. There will be steelhead action, rainbow trout action. We'll be into the Chinooks, Atlantics, and Coho. Welcome to the Fiesta Keys. If you're looking for bookings, go to rvonthego.com. They'll set you up. They have properties all across the United States, and these in particular are beautiful. Here's our cabins we stayed in. Even if you don't have an RV, RV On The Go can set you up with chalet just like this. Believe me, this is first class residence. Felt like a king. Some of the local residents saying hello. We're out where the green meets the blue, deep blue Atlantic Ocean water. We have a small chop today. After a few hours of singing the come on, bite my lure fish song, we're into a double header and they're big. Spool, spool, spool. King mackerel, king max, kingfish. Trying to manage two rods and reels at the same time, bringing those two fish into the boat. 20 minutes of pure adrenaline burn. Both of these guys were pushing four feet. We did keep one for the Super Bowl game. Fed everybody with fish tacos. King Mac make great smoked fish as well. This is what I've heard. Unfortunately, we didn't have our smoker with us, nor the time to do it. Magnificent predator of the Atlantic Ocean. Truly respect these fish. King mackerel or kingfish is a migratory species of mackerel of the Western Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico. It is an important species to both commercial and recreational fishing industries. From the tales I've heard, I was half expecting a huge green white shark to, or a hammerhead or a bull shark to show up and take my catch away from me. Never did. King mackerel is a medium-sized fish, typically encountered around 30 pounds, but is known to exceed 90 pounds. Little top water action. That's what I imagine a tarpon to fight like. Maybe next time for the tarpon. Large kings heavier than 20 pounds often occur inshore in the mouths of inlets and harbors, and occasionally even 590 foot depths at the edge of the Gulf Stream. King mackerel are among the most sought after game fish throughout their range from North Carolina to Texas. It was a chore bringing them both in. And finally we got them settled down enough that I could try and unhook one and release and get the other one in the boat. Its cutting edge teeth are sharp, uniform, closely spaced, and flattened from side to side. 
These teeth look very similar to those of a bluefish. These fish were relentless. They just would not give up. We had to do a mercy kill on one of them. I typically run the blade through its eye socket into its brain. It immediately stops moving. In my opinion, it's a merciful kill. Known throughout the sports fishing world for their blistering runs, the king mackerel matches its distant relative, the wahoo, in speed. They are taken mostly by trolling using various live and dead bait fish, spoons, jigs, and other artificial lures. Unbelievable fish. I was completely tired out. Just look at the teeth on this predator. Prey just does not stand a chance. I've had a few bite take a look at me sideways, but this fish, you did not want to get your fingers near that mouth. Unbelievable predator. At this point, I'm just absolutely amazed at this fish. I'm in awe. Well, we're heading back in. I just wanted to show you some of the swells. Some of the other 30, 40 foot boats out here were taking such a pounding in this thing. I could just feel my knees aching watching these guys on the boats go by. Me, I was just sitting in the swell. Having great days on the water and catching great fish requires great gear. Come on back to Inspired Fishing. Come on back now. We'll take you on another adventure into the sun on open water catching big fish. Thanks for tuning in.